Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply a chroma key inside of After Effects. So let's get started. Alright, if you don't know what a chroma key is, it's where you take a certain color, um, most of the time it's green or blue, and then you tell your computer, or back in the days they used to use chemicals um, in order to get rid of that color, but you make certain pixels of a certain color transparent. Um, like I said, most of the time it's green or blue, and we're going to be using green in today's example. Okay, so I'm sure that you know how to make a new composition inside of After Effects. So we're going to do that here. And once we have that, um, we can import what we want to be behind the green screen. So in this case, it'll be your background. Um, I have this picture of me. From my last video, my walk and talk thing. So I don't know what happened, but the quality was very bad on that video. This is how it actually looked. A lot better. But for some reason, it just wasn't good quality once I posted it. Now that we have our background imported inside of After Effects, we can import what we want to apply the chroma key effect to. So I made this video a while ago. It's called um, Fake Ad Green Screen and you can download it for free. I give you complete permission to use it. I made it so other people can use it. Um, the licensing is Creative Commons, so you can easily just download it and use it. I'm not gonna copyright claim you or anything because I made it so you can use it. So I thought that that would be a great example in this video. So I want this to be behind this, but I'm gonna get rid of all the green, so it's gonna look like I'm in an ad. So, what we're going to do is go to our effects and presets and search up key light, key light. And then you want to drag key light 1.2 over the layer right here. Great, so now we can just take this color picker right here and you want to drag it to the green color. And boom, you're already done. That gets rid of it. Now, if you have something more complicated, let me see if I have something else with some kind of... Okay, so I don't have anything with a green sheet, but we can also practice on this. Um, so we're gonna try to key out the blue on this bird. It's gonna look kinda weird, but you can see we're gonna try to get it just right by adjusting the settings in a certain way it's not going to be a complete key, but you will kind of see more how it works by the different shades of blue being different transparencies. And then I can show you about the shadow map. Um, not the shadow map, the color map. So you're going to apply the key light effect to that layer. Use the color picker. You want to pick like the most common blue. Okay, that's pretty good already. So right here where it says final result, we're going to come down to screen matte. And that's going to bring up the white and black parts. The black parts are the parts that are transparent. The white parts are the parts that you will still see. And the gray parts, we don't want any gray parts because those are weird transparent areas. We want it to be all white and black. So we can open up our screen matte settings here and adjust the clip black and white until it's just white and black. So that's before, after, before, after. So we completely cut it out. Alright guys, so that's about it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned how to apply a chroma key inside of After Effects. So I'll see you next time on Dipper Studios. Bye.